What's going on guys? So today I'm on my way to Coker Chassis and Bob is Quarter going- mile. Oh, continue on go. East Poplar Street. Thank you, Siri. Anyways, Bob is going to finish up the parachute install on the 2013 ZL1 and you guys will be able to see what the car looks like with the chute completely on and uh, we'll also learn in today's video how to pack a chute. So it should be a nice little fun and informational video for you guys, but uh, let's just skip this drive and fast forward a little bit. And here we are at Coker Chassis. Look at this. Oh yeah, this is sweet. There he is. What's up, boss? What's up, man? How you doing? Good morning. I was just admiring this nice uh, 69 right here. As soon as I walk in the door. <laughs> <laughs> is this... That's not the other red one in the trailer, is it? You guys got two of these, don't you? No, this is it. Oh, this is yeah, it? Okay. I Okay. This is the one with, like, the paint job that's, like, from the... 1980s. 80s, yeah, oh, yeah. and it looks fresh. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing how long it actually held its color. I know. Ready yeah, to see much. yours? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to see it. <laughs> What's up, man? How, are you How you doing? doing? Good, good. How was the drive up? Long again, but Long hey. Again. <laughs> there she is. I couldn't drill a, a hole through with your a couple license. holes. <laughs> I couldn't drill a hole through your license plate. I couldn't do That's it. okay because that works too, you know? Yep, yep. And over here is what we got with the package. You know, okay. You got your shoot. Alrighty. Red, of course. Red. I like it. Red. That was your idea, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Not mine. Not mine. <laughs> it was his idea. His idea. We got the cable, our okay. mount for inside, okay. our mount for the back, mm -hmm. and our mount for the chute. All right. So basically, if somebody wants this, this is what gets sent to you. For the 5th Gen Camaro. 5th Gen bolt on deal. Now, this replaces the factory rear crash bar, right? Yes, it does. Which, which will gonna, save weight. Yes, and we're going to remove that here in a little bit. Okay. We're remove that here in a little bit. Cool. Pretty, pretty easy installation. Um, we will let you know where this goes, you know what I mean? If somebody right. wants this or whatever, real simple. Right. Real simple. Can be done in any driveway even. Cool. So there's the, ca the hole for the cable. Yep. And there's the hole for the chute. Yep. So basically, we're just going to remove the back bumper off this car, you know what I mean? Right. All of our panels. And this bumper is a couple little bolts underneath. Snaps right off. Yep. What's all that rubber from? Yeah. Got it. There's something. Yeah, there's a lot of. For some reason, my tires are protective like. Protective coating here. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to remove the original crash bumper. Yeah. How heavy is that? Did you guys, do you have like a scale? Can you weigh that? 27 like, pounds. 27 pounds. Yes. Wow. I mean, you can just pick that up yourself. Yeah. Let's see how heavy. Yeah, it's got some now, weight to it. Now pick that up. <laughs> what is that, like two pounds and that's 27 or yeah, something? Yes, yes, you're saving. Wow. You're saving some weight. What's that made? What is it? That's all chromoly. It's chromoly, okay, yep, so chromoly, yeah. All chromoly, TIG welded together. Wow, alrighty then. It's a bolt-on deal. Yeah. Now you can get lightweight crash bars too out of chromoly, can't you? Yes, yeah. Yeah, if, yeah. if guys just want to reduce some weight, they could just get a bar with that minus the chute. Right, the, uh, right. Bracket. And we replaced the factory bolts with grade 8 bolts, so. Yeah, I imagine if you if you do the front and rear, I imagine you could save like 40 pounds, you know? Yep. At least. 40 pounds, if everybody's math is correct, 100 pounds is a tenth. So is that right? Yeah. If you take 100 pounds off a car, you know, you're gonna you're gonna go faster. Yeah. And usually the rule of thumb always was 100 pounds is one of the tenth. Yeah. So. Well, what else can we throw out of this car, Bob? Because now you got my ears going. <laughs> It's heavy to begin with. All the fifth gens are heavy. That's the only issue with these cars. Well, there's so much safety stuff from the factory and so much yeah. just stuff that wasn't in the older, older cars, you know? And because they are that heavy, you know, when you put a cage in, you don't have to put rocker bars and stuff. Well, it's like, good structure. yeah, that and like this stuff, like all this stuff adds up, this plastic oh. stuff everywhere that sure. wasn't on, sure you know, sure older cars. If I was gonna build a fifth gen, I would, Use the shell, and and a lot of it's sound deadening. Yeah, but I found yeah, sound deadening and a of sound deadening in a car. Yep. Cool. Basically, that's the whole cool. installation. The 
rest is just, we're gonna put the bumper back on and put the chute on and pack the chute, so. So basically you just, yeah, you unbolt that, bolt it, and then mark your hole where you can, where yep. to, I guess, drill into yep. the rear bumper and there. We designed that, so this rear bumper, as you can see, has a, a center line here. Right. And it has a center line here. Oh, so that was. So we picked that point, easy for her to find, you know, to find. Right, straight through, she'll go right on now. And when the bumper's off, this piece, you go in here. That's the removable, the yeah. This is what the chute and everything gets hooked to. That's very cool. Yeah. Simple, clean. And then there's just a pin, I guess, that you throw through yep. there. Yep, just a bolt that you put through there. And then you can, if you want it off the car. You just pull it just right out. It. Now, what do you do with the cable then? I would just coil it back in the just, trunk. Oh, you can throw it, it yep. back in there. Oh, yep, okay. Because it will come out. We're gonna install the rear bumper now. Cool. And while we're doing that, we're gonna hook up a kill switch for you. That's right. I, I've actually been lying to everybody. They thought this was hooked up. You all thought this was hooked up, but it never was. So we're finally doing it. Okay. <laughs> what we got here is we got an alternator wire, wire from our battery, and this is tied to what was originally the battery. So we're okay. gonna hook that up, slide the bumper on. I gotta fit in here somehow. This is probably why you lied to everybody. Yeah. You didn't want to get crawling. <laughs> How is it down there, Bob? Oh, Good. a little tight. It's getting tighter. <laughs> So what made you go with a Simpson shoot other than like another quality. like another brand? Quality? quality. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Simpson's been around a long time. Yeah. They make a good product. Yeah. And this is an important product. My basic way of figuring out a parachute and how to pack it. Oh, is. here we go. Packing the chute. <laughs> Simpson sends it to you all packed the way it should be. So what we want to do is we're going to lay this down here. Okay. And basically, just if this was getting out, taken out of the car. Okay how we're gonna figure out how to pack it. And all it is is just folded in layers. Okay. And your tether is the last thing in there. Right. So when you, you'll fold all this all back up into a square, just like we have here. And what you wanna do is interlace this tether, get that place there. And then obviously you see the size of what you gotta work with so you don't wanna fold right a two foot by two foot square right you need to fold a seven by seven square so then you just keep overlaying it just as it would come out and then this will be the last piece that we put in so what we're going to do now is pack this into the into the area it needs to go i was going to say let's well, let's just do the whole things okay. as if it as if i pulled the chute so okay. i can just kind of pack it you know yep that's what that bolt is there. Yeah, that's what yeah. this bolt is here. And we just got a sleeve in there so it doesn't cut the the bolt, don't cut the tether. Right. Once again, a good locking nut. And locking nut, but so that only half of a locking nut because we want to save the weight. <laughs> like how you think. Is that how is that this all this hardware comes with the Simpson pack? No, that comes, does, with our, that comes that with comes our package. with our package. Right. Oh, that's your with, shoot mount. With, with the shoot mount. So right. you just bought the Simpson, Simpson shoot. shoot, yes. And, and the pack. The, and put on our pack. Gotcha. So basically, if we had our shoot deployed, and we're, at, we're down at the finish lane. Right. This is what we're going to have. We're going to have a shoot that's opened up. And as you can see, it's in four tiers. So if this shoot was open, this, this is the mess we'd have at the end of the track. Right, right. You're gonna pack a chute. Alrighty. So what you're gonna have next, you're gonna have four tiers that came out, okay, in the chute. You wanna double them up. Alright. One on the left, one on the right. Okay. Now you're gonna make four, two. Right. If 
you're arguing with your girlfriend last night, don't let her do this. <laughs> what we're going to do is fold this in half now. Okay. okay. And we know the, the, the space we have to work with. So we're going to fold this again this way, just like that. So now we have the start of our 7 by 7 square. Okay. What we want to do is get this all closer to the vehicle. We're just going to start coiling our tether. Once again, you want to make it fit inside of a 7 by 7 square. Okay. So now we're back to our little square. Now, little square, you've got to go in here, in the smaller square. In the smaller square. And you have your cord left. Right. Same thing, you know. Best part of the cup. Now we can hit this oh, Jesus. big spring, which basically, once again, two guys would be a lot better. Yeah. It comes with a string on this here, which makes life a lot easier. Okay, we're going to lace it to our sides. There is the finished packed chute on the car. Easier said than done, right, Bob? <laughs> so now you're gonna mount the gonna, the bracket for yep, the handle for the handle cool all right so I'm all strapped in here to simulate an actual race and we're gonna position the bracket so I don't know I mean if I'm here like can you move it forward a little bit or not well I could redesign this handle to come forward you can only come so far where is it gonna be like when it's locked right, right there right, right there. there yep no, it's, it's actually not. that's not that bad if I go like that and just pull forward and throw it Yep. Like that. Yep. That's not too bad. I'll just I'll just be right here and boom. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Cool. So you can easily just cut the shoot yep. line and then yep. thread this through here. Okay. That's what's going to hold the chute. Put a little bend on the end of this, just so it won't fall directly out easily. And then I'll pull it in there. Like when you're, like when you're driving. Driving, yes. Yes, that'll stop it from yeah. coming out. I was going to say, dang, how does, that, how does that stay in when you're driving like that? Simulating the pull. There it goes. And that'll just hang there when you're... Yep. That'll just hang there like yep, that. That'll just hang there until you're done with the pass. Okay. And you reset the cable inside. Right. And there it is. And then you just throw yep. that through this yep. little loop right there. Yep. Wow. It's amazing that that's the only thing that holds it. So when you, before you go, the you take the, the string the out. The string will be off. And this okay. safety clip will be off. The only thing that will be holding it is that. It's here. We'll keep in the car. <laughs> that string's just to help pull the string through. Yeah. And the safety clips to keep it from basically yep. going off when you're just driving it or yeah. doing whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. there she is. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, we did. I think we tested that when my camera died, didn't we? Yeah, we, we, we can, did. We can, we can we'll, that. So this, everything's off. Now it's back on. So we'll go ahead, go ahead and start her up there, Bob. And we'll simulate how this will work. Car is on. Kill switch. Off. Now. Safety first. Safety first. And how many people do you think are going to do that as a joke? Oh, you're going to get a lot. <laughs> we will be delivering this back to you Saturday morning. And you can have your baby back. Awesome. This is, uh, this is, it's looking good. So there it is. There's the car with the chute on it. Everything's nice and clean. Got the little little rubber grommet. And the fact that it's removable is even cooler. And then the only thing you really have sticking out is just this little end cap little right here. Cap. Yep. Exactly. I like it. Nice. It's a good install, you know. And now, you. guys with the fifth gens, now you know what to do. Alrighty, so coming down here, Bob showed me something that was stuck in the exhaust of my car. And it's, did I eat a cat? Did my car eat a cat? 
What is that? I don't know. It takes in a lot through the front. It has to come out the back. So we think this is part of my muffler that's coming apart because normally it might be the catalytic converter, but I don't have any on this car. Yeah, so and this is a look at that. Steel look how material. long that is. Oh my gosh. I think we just gained horsepower. Yeah. Jesus, that could have been bad, I guess, if that was caught up in there. All right, so now that we got the uh, dead cat out of the muffler there, it's time to thank Bob for all your hard work and uh, awesome work, I must say. This is uh, definitely a really good setup here. So, um, yeah, thank you. We enjoyed everything. doing it for you. We thank really you, did. yeah. Did you buy it online or how'd you get this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, this shoot itself came from line. Everything else was fabricated here, okay. which you have our link on there. They can get in touch with us. Right, we right. Can send them a complete setup ready to go in this. Okay, so yeah, like you said, I'll have all that info below for you guys that have fifth gen Camaras and you're wanting to put a shoot on it or whatever. And as well as this battery cutoff, um, when he was talking about earlier in the video, if you guys missed that, be sure to go back and rewind. But there's not many fifth gens with this cutoff. I know John doesn't have one. <laughs> Johnny, you gotta get a cutoff. You're illegal. <laughs> Happy that that's hooked up now. Now I feel all safe. Double safety going on right yes. here. And another thing, Bob is going to do measurements for a window net on the car just so we got all of our bases covered so I don't get hassled or anything like that. Plus, um, you know, in the event of a crash, the window net will prevent my arms from going out the window and getting decapitated. So we'll see if I can remember how to pack it this time. I might have to go back in the video and, and watch it. Yeah, watch, this yeah. is that's good. I have it on video now. So if I didn't remember how to do it, I can go reference the video. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to follow all of my social media. It'll be in the description of the video. Please hit that subscribe button and have a great day.